Uh, hi, Jaron. Well, first, thank you very much for making your trip here. I think you're elevating the debate. And it's definitely very interesting. And I think on behalf of many people here, I appreciate your presence here. Really welcome to Colombia. Welcome to Medellin. Thank you. Um, as a, unlike many people here, I have lived in Venezuela, and I have lived in Panama, and I have lived actually in Hong Kong and some other countries. And I kind of have pretty clear where it's better to live. Right, uh, Venezuela, not where everything was nationalized and the trade unions, you know, took their victories. It's not that nice to leave. Let me tell you, if you want to give it a try, there is a reason why we're here and not in Venezuela today. Right? Absolutely. Uh, I hope you can one time go to Mar you know, many cities in Venezuela. But first, what tools or what's the best way to defend freedom apart from facts? Because facts is pretty straightforward, but apparently it's not very well understood. What tools have you seen around the world that are better to defend these values that are pretty obvious? I mean, but so maybe it's not that obvious. Uh, yeah, it's not obvious, and it, you know, partially, I'm I'm going to repeat myself because I'm going to say that you know facts are all on our side. I mean, literally, all the facts are on our side. There's no country where there's no place where. Uh, everything is nationalized and controlled and regulated that you would want to live. Now, that doesn't mean America's heaven because America's not capitalist, America's not free. America's also heavily regulated, more regulated than a lot of places in the world. Um, so the facts are all on our side. They're not just the facts. The economic theory is all on our side, right? We've had Nobel Prizes in economics, uh, people who agree with us on liberty and freedom. We, we've won the economic debate. Keynes lost, Marx lost. Hayek, to some extent, won. Hayek, Mises, those guys won in economics. But where have we lost? We've lost in what I've been talking about this evening. We've lost the moral debate. We keep losing the moral debate. The morality of altruism, the morality of otherism, the morality of self-sacrifice, the morality that says the group is more important than the individual, the state is more important than the individual, the tribe is more important than the individual, the others are more important than individuals, that your purpose in life is to sacrifice. That morality won. It's been strong for 2,000 plus years. Nobody's willing to challenge it. Many of you, even though you might not, are not really willing to challenge it inside your own hearts, inside your own minds. But until that is challenged, until we challenge the morality of sacrifice, which ultimately I think is a morality of death, we will not move the needle on liberty and freedom. We'll keep circling around in the, same, in the same place. The breakthrough will come when we are willing to accept a new, different, radical morality, a morality of self-interest, a morality of individualism. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.